What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how you can create this dope inverted effect for your music videos. Let's get straight into it. What's up guys, my name is Devin Wynn. Welcome to 11% Tutorials. You already know the word. Net spend. Mozart of our generation just dropped a new music video. We got these crazy visuals going on right here. Today I'm going to break down the shut up music video or just, I mean, explain this invert effect. It's really dope, really easy to create. Let's jump right into Premiere Pro. So first up right here, I have some footage um, that I shot of Net spend, his last Rolling Loud performance. I do have to go ahead and trim this clip because um, it's kind of like blurry and there's some shaky parts, which does bring me to a cool trick. If you guys ever run run into this problem i'm sure you got like a bunch of clips that you just need to remove all the shaky and blurry parts there's a really cool trick that you can do this really quickly go to window hit extensions and then hit auto edit and uh this is like a cool little ai plugin all i literally do is i just drag and drop that video clip right here which is the b-roll selector um and then i just watch i just go ahead and hit auto sequence and my hands are off the keyboard my hands are off the keyboard watch boom just like that it is just removed all the blurry shaky uh, and overexposed unusable parts makes it really easy for editing um i don't know let me know what you guys think but if you want to check it out i've linked down to it below in the description auto edit the ai music video editor and yeah it does like a bunch more cool stuff like uh, ai visual effects adder ai style match a bunch of cool stuff um yeah so now that we have all our good shots right here the actual usable parts where he's like actually in frame first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search for the invert effect uh it's really simple it's pretty much it and uh, we drag and drop and boom just like that we pretty much have the effect but yeah we're not done yet actually i'm gonna choose a better clip uh i think this one is much better oh look at him he's like looking directly at the camera boom dude looks freaked what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Lumetric Color, I'm gonna hit the drop down on Basic Color Correction, and I'm just gonna turn the saturation down to zero so that everything's black and white. Then what I also went and did is I went to YouTube and I just searched for like a water liquid ink animation overlay, and I just downloaded uh, one of these ones off of YouTube. Now I'm gonna go ahead and drag this just over our project and just like this right here. I'm going to go ahead and cut it right around here. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna go ahead and hit speed duration. And then I'm gonna change the speed to something like 300 and hit reverse speed. So that way we kind of have this like cool like reverse uh, ink effect going on. Now same thing that we did before, we're gonna go back to our effects. We're gonna search for that same invert effect and apply it right here, boom, just like that. Uh, same thing once again, we're going to turn down the saturation to zero and maybe you can boost the exposure and contrast just a tad bits, maybe shadows and blacks too. Then go back to your effects and controls and change the blending mode to screen. One other cool thing to note on in this video is that there's like this coolish film grain overlay. Uh, there's two ways you can create it. There's a paid version uh, using Dehancer, which by the way, Dehancer is like a, a film emulator for Premiere Pro and After Effects. It's my favorite one. It does the best job. Uh, in my opinion, all you literally do is just go ahead and drag and drop an adjustment layer, go to your effects, search for Dehancer, uh, the newest version, and then you just simply go to film, change the profile to something like Rolay CN200, and yeah, now we're getting a really cool film texture. I would recommend uh, increasing the contrast a little bit, also hitting the drop down on Bloom, enabling that and then hitting the drop down on film damage and also enabling that and making that like 16 millimeters. So that way we kind of have more of like this crazy looking film uh, overlay similar to that music video. That's how you use it on Dehancer. But if you want to just do this uh, like the simple way, the unpaid version, because I get it, Dehancer can kind of be expensive. Literally just go over here to noise um, and then you can just apply some noise just like that and increase it to something like maybe 21 percent and turn off the color noise and yeah there you go <laughs> that is your film damage going on right there hope you guys found something useful michael jackson of our generation dropping some crazy visuals once again you know i had to cover the tutorial on it if you have any cool tutorial ideas you'd like to see from us in the future or if you want to check out the auto edit plugin everything's linked down below make sure to leave a comment down below as well love to hear what you guys have to say thanks again so much for watching and if you want to learn five new music video effects that you can create for your music videos you can check out this video linked right here